scorpions not only adapted, they flourished. As the earth cooled, they found niches to exploit. Eons passed, continents shifted, civilizations rose and fell. In the 21st century, scorpions crawl the earth unscathed. They are living fossils, unaffected and oblivious to change. And as air conditioning now allows humans to build their homes in deserts and jungles, encounters with scorpions will only increase. Living together safely depends on understanding the habits of these remarkable animals. Scorpions now radiate across the entire planet, on all major land masses except Antarctica. More than 2,000 different species have evolved to accommodate wildly differing habitats. From rainforests to mountaintops to sun-baked deserts, they've got what it takes to survive in the most severe and extreme environments. Scorpions could even feel at home in a post-nuclear wasteland. Radiation capable of wiping out almost all other life forms, seems to have little effect on them. Wherever they find themselves, they are masters at discovering a way to meet their needs. They are continuing victors in the evolutionary arms race. As their prey has evolved defenses, the scorpion has evolved better weapons of attack. Walking across the sands of southeastern Arizona, the giant desert hairy scorpion. It's the largest scorpion in North America. In this arid environment, the desert hairy searches for its prey. Small lizards, crickets, even the tarantula. The local tarantula is a species known as the desert blonde. A tarantula's eyesight is rudimentary, not nearly keen enough to spot the partially concealed scorpion. Gripping the log with its tiny claws, the tarantula manages an escape. It's a warm, windless night. Perfect hunting conditions for the desert scorpions. But for this tarantula, it's like navigating a minefield. On a night like this, its only hope is to find refuge in a burrow of its own. The desert hairy tunes into its surroundings, waiting to sense the smallest vibration. A slight motion behind it prompts an attack. Resistance is quashed with a quick injection of venom. The scorpion maneuvers the tarantula to consume it head first.
A clue to the scorpion's survival lies in its archaic anatomy. The parts are rudimentary, but remarkably efficient. Ancient fossils show that little has changed for hundreds of millions of years. Although there are slight variations from one species to the next, the basics are always the same.